What's going on guys? I'm Alex from Little Guy Adventures and today we're going to do our first ever Little Guy Adventures gear review. We all have uh, a lot of different stuff and we've talked about doing gear reviews for a while and none of us have just had the time to really put them up. So today I finally have some free time and I wanted to start out the review with something I got for my hammock. I needed a cheap sleeping bag basically just to see kind of how one fits in my hammock for an overnight trip. I haven't gotten to use it for an overnight trip yet. So I went into TJ Maxx and picked up this Firelight Outdoor Sleeping Bag. It was $25. It says it's good up to 32 degrees, but we will see about that. It is the Trail 800 Sleeping Bag. They also had a bigger one, but I wanted one that was as small as possible. Uh, I've actually been waiting a couple weeks to review this. I've had it and I haven't even opened it yet, don't know what it looks like. Basically one of my initial impressions to be 100% first time ever seeing it out of the bag. So, uh, it comes in a little bag, you can cinch up and you can actually cinch it up. Oh. Well, uh, apparently you can't cinch it up too tight because the review's already going. Did not want to go any tighter try and fix that before we go camping in a couple weeks but anyway so part of this review basically for this portion is just to see how well I can get it out of the bag and get it back into the bag how much room it has and how warm I think it's gonna be we're going camping Labor Day weekend and that'll be the first time I actually get to try it out so now let's see about getting this thing out of the bag all right, so let's see, loosen up this strap, this strap, broken strap is an outlaw cause, and let's see. I hope I can get it packed back this tight, but we're gonna see how long it takes. skinny and I mean it should fit in my hammock pretty good I don't know doesn't look like I'm gonna have a whole lot of room on the inside but let's see okay so let's see it's definitely it feels thin but it does have a little bit of material This one, if I was in a tent, I might. It's a little bit snug. It's definitely warm. I'm already starting to get hot. Um, not sure how well Kevin bought this sleeping bag, and he's a little bit taller than I am. I'm five foot eleven, about one eighty nine. So, I mean, I've. I feel like I'm about the perfect fit for this. Kevin was, he's gotta be at least 6'4". I know his feet are gonna be jammed into the edge at the bottom. So, curious how that's gonna go. But overall, I mean, for 25 bucks so far, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, we're gonna see in a couple weeks at Labor Day. I think I just found, oh, I don't know if you can see it from the camera or not. There's actually a little pocket in this thing. That's kind of cool. I haven't ever seen a, sleep, a pocket inside of a sleeping bag. So that's something. Uh, I mean, for $25, I figured I had nothing to lose as long as I don't freeze when we go camping. So, I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy so far. Now, the real question was going to be how easy I could get this back in my bag. That will be the tricky part. I've always sucked at rolling up sleeping bags.
I did finally get it back into its original container. It took me probably three, four minutes. I thought the camera would have the time on it, but I did a time lapse so it doesn't have the clock going on it. Um, but I was able to do it even with the broken strap, so I'm still pretty happy about that. That was one thing I was worried about. And I never mentioned before, but it will be the sleeping bag for use in my Madeira hammock. Um, I have the Canada flag one, Kevin has an American flag one, and they have several different other color options. For anybody that's interested in getting a Madeira hammock, I'll post the discount codes that myself and Kevin both have for 40% off in the description below. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for this part of the review. The next portion I'll post after we go camping, I'll try to get some clips while we're camping and see about how it fits in my hammock and all that stuff. Um, if you guys like this or any of our other content, make sure you subscribe or like the video, give it a thumbs up, and hopefully we'll be able to do some more gear reviews at some point in the future. I know each one of us, like I said, all have different things, so we'd love to put reviews up for each of the things that we use. Whenever I do have part two done, I'll post a link somewhere up in this area. I'll try to put the next video, and I really don't know how to end this, so uh, keep on keeping on.